It's a call that's telling me I'm here to serve. It's a need to make a difference in the world. 24 hours, day or night, these healing hands will make it right. Looking in their eyes, I know that I'm changing lives. Changing lives. Changing lives for the better. For the better. Changing lives. Hello, everyone. I'm Grace Sells, and welcome back for another edition of Best Docs Network, the show that's featuring some of the best doctors in the Houston area that are really changing people's lives. Up first on our show today, we're going to see how Karen was able to get the natural look she always wanted from her breast augmentation with help from plastic surgeon Dr. David Altamira. You know, I just always felt like my body was out of proportion. When I would try on clothes, I just, it was never when I looked into the mirror what I envisioned in my own mind. Um, so I guess that's what prompted me to start researching and looking online. I just, I never felt um, like my full potential. Karen came in just uh, wanting to have bigger breasts because she'd always felt that her, her breast size was, was out of proportion to her, her hips. She'd always wanted to be a little bigger. She just felt she needed it to kind of balance out her shape. So she was, uh, after discussing it with her, a really good candidate for that. As soon as I met his staff and him, I know he had uh, that attention to detail. Um, just speaking to him, something about him set him apart from the others. He just made me feel safe. I knew I could trust, trust him and his work. So there's a lot of factors that go into it. By, by taking the measurements and and using them carefully to that particular patient and matching it to the size of the implant, we can give them a good aesthetically pleasing size and shape that looks and matches their looks good and matches their body. It was an outpatient procedure, so I had I came in that morning. The next, uh, the same day, I was I was out um, and back in home. It was a really good experience. It really made a huge difference in her in her confidence and self esteem. It, seemed, it may seem like a small thing to, to a just the, someone who didn't know her or just a casual observer, but in her mind it made a world of difference. It just really changed her personality. She, she kind of brought her out of her shell. She just felt better in, in, in a bathing suit, in, in photographs, just being out socially. So it, it was really a, a really a real blessing for her overall. Before my breast augmentation, I was wearing a size A and after the augmentation, I was a C. I had already decided I wanted a very natural look and that's something that's very important to me. That is what Dr. Altamari gave me, a very natural look and I'm very happy with the results. Stretching can help boost circulation and digestion and even ease back pain. Remember when stretching to hold each position for about 25 seconds and to breathe deeply. After my a pregnancy, I started seeing um, my teeth weakened, my teeth weakened with the, with the pregnancy, and I started having some uh, issues. Uh, my cavities were profound and it had affected my, my teeth. I wanted to, to have, you know, where I could smile and I think about being embarrassed about my, my, my teeth and the, the, way, the way they looked. And so she came in and she wanted to see if something could be done. And I think she was real apprehensive about, man, this is gonna be really bad. And you know, yes, she needs some work done, but I could see, and because this is what I do, the great majority of the time, this is what my emphasis is, you know, I knew I could fix it and make it look awesome. I'm glad to say that, you know, he gave me a solution and you know, there's there's hope. We could, you know, we could get you that smile, no problem. And that was like the biggest relief ever. Giselle is an example of what I see a lot. People come in and unfortunately a lot of them have been to dentists who have told them that there's not much hope for them or they can't do a certain procedure or they 
they only give them like one option and it's not a very good option. I think one of the advantages to coming here is that people can have hope when they've been told there's no hope or have options when they've been told maybe they only have one choice of how a treatment can be. And so I'm confident in what I do that I can deliver a result and make it look great. I don't have to think about it anymore. When I smile, I smile with confidence and, and that's something I don't even think about. It's my smile says, it says everything. People think I'm happier now. People think like, oh, what a happy, what a happy lady, you know, because I smile more. So now, Giselle is very happy. She's more self-confident, she's more vibrant, she just loves life, and, and it, she just exudes that. Giselle's just full of life, and she looks great, and uh, very, very happy. And the confidence that it brings, that you get from having a, a good smile and having a confident smile is invaluable. I definitely know that if you go to Dr. Lewis, he's gonna give you the smile that, you, that you've always wanted. BestDocsNetwork.com helps you find the right doctor for your medical needs. Watch videos on each doctor and decide for yourself who fits you best. On the Best Docs Network homepage, you can see the latest videos, search for a doctor, find educational content, and watch the latest TV episodes from each BDN market. To request an appointment with any of the amazing doctors that you see on our show today, head to our website. It's BestDocsNetwork.com. Go to the doctor's profile page and click on the Request an Appointment tab. Now up next, we're gonna see how Irma's chronic sinus infections were treated and she was able to live life without suffering with help from ear, nose, and throat specialist, Dr. C.T. Wynn. My biggest problem was that I got several allergies. I couldn't breathe. I was snoring at night. I was sneezing a lot during the mornings when I woke up and I was always having uh, nose discharge. Irma is a, a young professional who came to see me because she can't breathe through her nose. She's, she has this chronic problem that never went away. Uh, she consulted many doctors and all she got was a you know, prescription of antibiotics and that's it. Uh, since I was a child, I had that problem. I've been treated for, for allergies. I get better for a specific periods of time. But I travel a lot. I travel internationally. So it's different pollens and different uh, trees or the landscape is totally different. So I, I couldn't find a solution. Doctors have treated Emma's problem with multiple course of antibiotics. I see this condition all the time. Patient has been treated with antibiotics, antibiotics, antibiotics. The problem is that antibiotics may improve your symptoms, but it will mask the cause of the problem. He explains you everything. He shows you, you know, like with endoscopy, he was, I could see my nose inside. I saw where parts were infected and he was telling me what, what he can do for me and what would be the results. Decide upon a plan of treatment consisting of endoscopic sinus surgery assisted with uh, GPS-like technology to uh, target her disease sinus. He really uh, accommodate the surgery to my lifestyle. He already told me you are going to follow your allergy treatments with me and now everything is working perfectly for me. We are at the forefront of medical technology to improve our patient outcome. We want our patient to recuperate faster and feel better. I'm breathing, I feel healthier, I feel younger. I highly recommend the sinus surgery for everybody that has chronic infections. To find a doctor on bestdocsnetwork.com, you can search by your location and the doctor's specialty. From there, you can search through the doctors listed. You can even search by your current location to find the doctor closest to you. Carla has a question for Dr. Peter Morgan. What are the causes of venous insufficiency? The risk factors or causes of venous insufficiency are, um, first of all, genetic or hereditary. Patients that have uh, parents or grandparents or aunts or uncles that have large varicose veins, 
are more likely to have disease that is caused by a genetic predisposition for the veins to get larger. The second risk factor is lifestyle issues, including jobs, occupations, or hobbies that result in standing or sitting for long periods of time. If you have asthma, don't let it stop you from playing sports. Swimming, canoeing, fishing, sailing, and walking are all asthma-friendly options. For more information and to check out hundreds of videos, head to our website. It's bestdocsnetwork.com. Now up next, we're going to see how David's life was changed after receiving a smile makeover from Dr. Paul Metz. My teeth needed to all be extracted. They were crumbling, they were breaking, I couldn't chew my food. He's a professional, you know, an accountant, and he's certainly concerned about finances and how to structure his, his budget. And he was a guy that um, his lower teeth were worse off than the uppers. And so that was an area that he decided to focus on. I guess this started in 2009, and this really happened in kind of in two settings. So that in 2009, we did the lower, and in 2011, we did the upper. The, the bottom is all done, and I'm in the midst of having the prosthesis on the top done. And also with David, his concern uh, regarding his budget, we were able to do this without grafting. Previously, in the upper jaw, because of the maxillary sinuses, we would have to graft those areas in majority of cases that we were placing a full jaw worth of implants. Uh, but with the advent of cone beam CT, we're able to look at individuals from a three-dimensional standpoint radiographically ahead of time so as to know where the bone is so that we can position implants within that bone and avoid the need for sinus grafting and then subsequently lower his overall cost significantly as well as increase the predictability. No longer do I have to make sure that everything is in place where it's supposed to be in place. It's, I have, I have a new chance and a brand new set of teeth, and they don't hurt. It's, it's just satisfying to see him come back smiling, see him walking down the hallway, uh, you know, standing upright with their, their chin up, smiling, and, and, and being much more confident. So it, it, from a psychological standpoint, outside of the health benefits that you see, uh, the mental health benefits are, are significant. I'm a CPA. I meet with clients and I have high net worth clients. Appearance is important to me. It's certainly not of the utmost importance, but it's important to me. And I don't want to be embarrassed by a, by a crumbling smile line. It's a wonderful, wonderful solution. Today we're here with Dr. Reynolds Delgado at the Texas Heart Institute. He's the Director of Cardiac Transplantation at the Texas Heart and we're so happy to have him with us. Dr. Delgado, thank you for being with us today. Well, thank you, Annie. Now we know that um, cardiac transplantation is something that seems so far removed from most people, but really so many people are in need of this uh, great help. And can you tell us a little bit about how you evaluate a patient for transplant? Yes. Well, first of all, there's a lot of people that need it, as you say. Around six million people in the United States have heart failure, and a good proportion of those need a transplant. The problem is we only have around 2,000 donors' hearts available to us in the nation per year. So we really have to focus on those patients who can get the most out of those 2,000 donors. And so really that's the focus when we're working somebody up for transplant, finding someone who's going to live a long, healthy life after the transplant. Exactly. Now, there are several ways of helping the patient, right, with assist devices. Would you sure. kind of mention those for us? 
Yes, and you know, the transplants are a limited resource, so we only have that limited number that we can do per year. But there are other things we can do that are not. Um, an example is the artificial heart devices. These are known as LVADs, or left ventricular assist devices. And these are small motors, small motor pumps that are tiny, about this big, that can be implanted with a surgery in the chest underneath the heart and they can pump blood for the heart. And so really in a failing heart, we have other alternatives like this. We see that there's hope for people who can't even get a transplant, that they could come and be evaluated for even this assist device. Absolutely, absolutely. There's so much we can do beyond transplant. And as for transplants, we do many of them. Uh, we did 57 in uh, 2012. That's a lot of transplants, it's one a week. But one thing that's important for people of Houston to, to know is that here in where we are standing and sitting is the greatest med center in the world. Just right there, it's the greatest cancer hospital in the world. And here is the greatest cardiac hospital in the world. And within this med center, we can do just about anything that's doable in medicine. That's excellent. Thank you, Dr. Delgado. We really appreciate you. Thank you, Annie. I've always been slim or on the slim side. Always had a little pooch for a tummy, but it wasn't anything that I couldn't, you know, cover up in clothing or suck it in. And then like, I wake up one morning and just went, what's this? And it didn't matter how much I exercised, I've always ate well. I could not get that stomach to go down and it happened in the upper section also. Our patient for colosculpting came in for abdomen treatment. Very concerned about her stomach. She had areas that she couldn't get off despite diet and exercise. So I just went, hmm, clothes aren't fitting. I can't go on like this. And so I started researching and I decided on the cool sculpting simply because it's non-invasive. I didn't want to go under the knife. So the cool sculpting procedure will take about an hour. It is non-invasive. Um, when the procedure is done, you can go about your daily activities. You'll see the most results at about two months. So the whole concept is, is you can take the skin and the soft tissues to a lower temperature, freeze the fat, which actually kills the fat, but it leaves the surrounding tissues intact. Of course you get, you know, the list of what could happen, and I, I, I didn't have any cramping. Um, I did have a little, just ever so slight bruising, not purples and blues, just a little red and a little tender, and that was it. It is permanent. Um, the affected area will kill about 25% of the fat cells. Uh, the recommendation these days is to do two treatments within a month so that we can get about 50% reduction of the area. Uh, some patients just need one and they're happy with it, but a lot of patients can get two and get better results. I had it a year ago last January, yes, and I'm just really thrilled that I had it done. My clothes fit again. I could not wear this skirt a year ago, and it was cheaper to have it done than going out and buying a new wardrobe. Simple as that. I would say I'm a victim of fashion, and I like feeling good in my clothes. I like to look good. And so, yeah, there's a little vanity in there, and the hubby kind of likes it too. Each doctor on the Best Docs Network website has their own profile page where you can watch videos on the doctor, read info on their background and training, find their office locations and directions, as well as ask the doctor a question and request an appointment. Your thyroid gland is an important organ. It's right here, right in front of your windpipe. Now, many people can be low on thyroid, that's hypothyroidism, that's the most common type of thyroid disorder. And there's also hyperthyroidism, an overactive thyroid, that's less common. The hypothyroidism is more common in women, but it does affect men, and it can cause symptoms such as weight gain, fatigue, thick skin, coarse hair, constipation, all kinds of things, all of them involved in slowing down of your bodily functions. Now, if that's the case, you go to your doctor's office, they draw what's called a TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. That will be low and then the physician can start you on a medication that will improve your 
thyroid hormone level in your body. Your metabolism will come back to normal, your weight may go down, your skin and hair changes will get better, and your energy level will respond. Now if you're hyperthyroid, overactive, that can be a problem with heart problems. It can cause atrial fibrillation, which is a rhythm disturbance. It can cause excessive uh, anxiety, as well as high pulse rate and trembling. So if you have any of those symptoms, get your TSH checked by your physician. For additional medical minutes from Dr. Honecker, log on to bestdocsnetwork.com and click on the Medical Minute tab on the home page. My legs were very, very tired. I couldn't sleep, toss and turn, couldn't get comfortable. They would just, they would just hurt and, and all night for years. Restless legs is best described as a very strong sensation or urge to move your legs. It becomes disabling because it creates an anxious sensation. Um, it's hard to explain. You're not sure what's causing it. You just have this overwhelming urge to move your legs. It almost always occurs at night and because of that it creates severe insomnia and severe anxiety. I had varicose veins. I knew I could see them on the outside. I didn't know about the, the veins on the inside that were not allowing the blood flow to go past my knees. That would just go up so far and then just go back down to my feet. We mapped her veins very carefully using ultrasound. We again isolated all the bad veins, the ones that were too large and the blood was running backwards because the valves had failed. And then we selectively ablated those using radio frequency uh, under ultrasound guidance. No pain, just a little stinging when they first go in with it, but really not much. Even though they say, well, it's not gonna hurt, it's not gonna hurt, but it really didn't. The last treatment I had, I didn't feel a thing. And we do that without any incisions or anesthesia. The patients can walk in, sit down, have the procedures done, stand up, walk out, get in their car, and drive themselves home. I would say, don't worry about it, just do it. Just get it done because you need to have it taken care of. Sleeping now, I rest comfortably, and uh, it, it, it turned out good. In the past, we, we used surgical procedures. The problems with that, one, it required general anesthetic. Two, it required big cuts that, with potential side effects like infection, damage to nerves, arteries, muscle, and they weren't selective. We were almost randomly choosing veins to treat, and they weren't always the only or maybe even the correct veins to treat. Now we selectively treat only the veins that are running backwards, so it works much better. Nuts are not only a source of healthful fats and protein, they also are a massive dose of omega-3 fatty acids that can help boost your brain power. All of the doctors that you see on our show today have profile pages on our website, bestdocsnetwork.com, complete with a bio, all of their videos, and you can even request an appointment. Now up next, we're gonna see how podiatrist Dr. Gabriel Mislos was able to treat Bernard for his foot pain and toe numbness. I first started having some pain in uh, my right foot after uh, an incident stepping out of a pool and I thought it was just a simple bone bruise but then I had some numbness and so uh, I went to see um, some podiatrist and uh, initially they felt it was related to uh, my diabetes. When he came into my office uh, he complained of you know shooting pain in his toes uh, so after doing an examination, an ultrasound exam and that he exhibited signs of a neuroma. A neuroma is essentially a nerve that is compressed by the sides of the metatarsal. So the nerve courses in between, and with a neuroma, it becomes inflamed. And after a while, it develops like a fiber sheath, and it's no longer just inflamed, it's enlarged. In terms of quality of life, I'm a big golfer, and you know, it was really made every day, and certainly uh, the enjoyment of playing golf, a lot uh, less enjoyable because because of the problem. So Mr. Weber uh, came in with the symptoms of a neuroma and I believe uh, I treated him a couple times with uh, sclerosis injections. Uh, orthotics were given to him 
and as well as instructions on, on stretching and taking an anti-inflammatory. And he just didn't get better. So at that point, uh, he elected to have surgery. Well, I think certainly in my case as a diabetic, and uh, given that the symptoms are so similar that this could happen to other people, I wasn't even aware of uh, what a neuroma was and being a diabetic. So I think just awareness is a key to understanding that um, numbness doesn't always mean diabetic neuropathy and it could be an actual injury to your foot and you should see a podiatrist. The procedure, it's very rewarding because patients like it and there's minimal pain postoperatively. If anything, there's some temporary numbness and then after a while, patients regain you know, sensation. My experience with Dr. Maslow's, you know, what I like about him is he is uh, very circumspect. So he doesn't assume anything. Let's go through all the steps. He's really interested in finding a solution. Very pleased with the care that uh, the doctor has given me. BestDocsNetwork.com also has a video library of all the doctor's videos that you can break down by doctor, topic, and specialty. This is a great way to find videos quickly and watch all the videos associated with your needs. I was pretty healthy up until uh, I hit my 30s, and when I hit my 30s is when, whenever I was diagnosed with diabetes, and then from that point on, they start treating you right then for cholesterol. They start treating you for high blood pressure. I had started taking tests and they, they changed my blood pressure medicines up. I woke up one morning and my heart was just out of control. He presented initially with palpitations. Uh, palpitations because of medication that he was taking for high blood pressure. He was not tolerating the medicine. And this medicine is a great medicine for blood pressure, but for him, it caused palpitations. So here's a classic example of how medications are studied, tried and true, used for years, but each patient is their own entity. Each patient processes medications in a different way. And for him, this medication was stimulating his heart, not quieting it down. I would feel pretty confident that if it kept going the way it was going, I would end up having a heart attack. A lot of blood work was done, and once we pinpointed a problem, we put me on the right medication. I've been fine ever since. And I had to, of course, immediately take that away, give him other medications that proved to be beneficial for his heart rate and his blood pressure. And he has done very well over several years, been very faithful to our practice, and brought many of his family members because of what we were able to do for him. As far as how I feel now versus how I felt from the beginning, I feel 100% better and, and, and not, not having to worry about waking up in the morning in your heart, just be racing out of control. It's a good feeling not to have to worry about that, uh, that taking place again. Bill is doing fabulous. He is uh, able to run his business. He brings his family members to be checked because he knows that um, there are rules and you follow the rules. And when you follow the rules, you do well. The outcome of it is, is pretty pretty good. I mean, like I said, if, if you control it and, and I stay on and I take the magnesium pills, magnesium pills, and it keeps everything under control, I haven't had any issues since. I expect to live for a long time, I hope. That's going to wrap up today's episode of Best Docs Network, the show that features some of the best doctors in the Houston area that are really making a difference in people's lives. For more information and to watch videos on all the amazing doctors that you've seen on our show today, head to our website. It's bestdocsnetwork.com. And if you have a question, a comment, or a life-changing story of your own, we would love to hear from you. Just send us an email at info at bestdocsnetwork.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.